and we are solving a problem that people will realize the value of it pretty shortly once a account aggregation hits a certain level of coverage you have banks coming on board as data providers you i mean even sbi is scheduled to go live but it take it take time because besides the bank is such when that happens you basically have everyone's financial data in a secure consent driven environment available for financial information users now figo is ready to tap into Hey folks, welcome to First Day Portfolio Shots. My name is Tejas and this is a series where we speak to founders of our portfolio companies so that you get to know the team, understand what they are building and the problem they're trying to solve. If you like the content that we've been putting out, do like, share and subscribe so that we get to reach more founders and startup enthusiasts like you. Today's very special guest is Kumar Srivatsan, co-founder and CEO of figo.ai. Figo.ai is an open finance platform that empowers user facing entities including banks nbfcs financial institutions consumer internet companies to gather actionable behavioral insights about their users from banking and financial transactions and contextually engage their end users in real time via insightful and hyper personalized financial experiences as part of their customer journeys i had a really interesting conversation with kumar and it was really great to learn about their culture and their plans for the future Stick around till the end of the episode to learn more. Hi Kumar, how are you today? Hi, this is doing good. Yeah, how about you? I am great too. And let's get started. So, my first question for you today is that what is the problem you're trying to solve at Figo.ai? Um, if you look at finance generally, right, fintech or even incumbent financial institutions, uh, financial experiences that have been provided to end users have currently been kept on. Uh, within a certain environment, as I told you, the first two pieces. But right now, finance is no longer a product; it's a feature. It has to form part of every B two C facing entity's uh, roadmap, product roadmap. Now, how do we bring that? How do we make it available to all of these entities? Is the bigger question. Most of the players that you know, that work in the open finance space try to provide uh, a product stack, be it a credit card or a lending stack, to the end user. Now, while those are infra plays, what we thought about. was how do we do the same thing but sitting on top of users financial behavior where does user financial behavior come in the closest thing to someone's authentic financial footprint resides in your banking account right now that's a garbled uh, combination of narration string syntax is different syntax all of which uh, from because there are multiple banks each of them have their own formats all of this provide some insight into the user but still is a long way off from how we want to provide products for it now what figo does is if you see uh, say a uh, chime new bank in the us or mint pfm those are basically combinations of individual financial experiences like say a roundup saving tool like a financial calendar like a cash flow management app now why can't we provide all of these experiences provide a library of such experiences to a b2c facing entity now what will work for them versus what will work for a bank was what will what might work for a fintech is completely different they can take a single experience like say a financial calendar within an nbfc app or a say a roundup saving within a swiggy app now the idea is let's provide this library if it's a pfm app they could potentially take all of our experiences and step uh, start uh, from day one the idea here is as an experience it can no longer be within the domain of incumbent financial institutions or fintech it has to be with any btc facing entity and that is the infrastructure play that we are trying to provide now consequently we have three broad product pillars the first one as i told you is experiences what we provide are pre built uh, journeys pre built uh, modules which help any entity plug plug and play into them and uh, their existing file facing app or mobile app or web app the second piece of the uh, we provide those as apis slash sdks in case you want to own the design in this consumer apis now the second piece of the product stack is all of this sits on transaction data now where do uh, clients get transaction data from if you are a financial institution you might have say per of yours or yardly or you might be a bank and you could have your own users transaction data uh, being a custodian the, the, what we have done is uh, we are a 
technology service provider under uh, sahamati and what that allows us is work with financial information providers uh, and financial information users now we help all of these certified financial information users be it an ndfc be it a bank be it a robo advisor entities registered under sebi epf rda irda and rbi to get users financial data from their financial accounts with consent now we provide all of those journeys those those flows uh, and we make it available uh, to them uh, as a single sdk now what we also do is we are a, sing a single point of contact where we integrate it into multiple account aggregators could be camps could be perfios could be finview could be uh, nesl so all of these players are building the pipes for transferring banking data from the customer's bank account to the client that requests for it now we're sitting on top of them and providing these pre built journeys and uh, multiple account aggregator uh, capability so an fiu can just come to us and start plugging playing after they certified and they have the credentials now finally the third piece of the product stack is insights so the same transaction data right your your banking transaction string which contains where you have spent what you have done what are the uh, basically categories sub categories merchants method mode now our capability to massage sense out of that is our core it capability to break down those transactions into meaningful enriched raw data into meaningful enriched categories sub categories merchants method mode is our capability now we provide those to the clients end user as experience and we provide the same uh, categories transactions to the client as insights now by insights what we mean is where are your end users spending money what are the end users doing financially what are they doing behaviorally and what is driving their financial growth and can you use it to drive your own growth so understand if you are an mbs or a bank or a fintech entity you sit on top of ego you connect their accounts and you understand what is their income what is their credit worthiness where do they spend where do they subscribe whether they have wealth um, uh, any any wealth in investments done in stocks mutual funds etc or is their net worth climbing or is their net worth going are they in between jobs all of this from your simple transaction string and that is the idea behind figo so we sit on top of your banking transaction string or we provide connectivity for that and either we engage with your end user retail facing if you're a retail facing entity or you provide insights about your end, end users to you so you can start building products that is awesome kumar so my next question for you is what is the progress you had so far um uh, we've had tremendous progress in the overall ecosystem as such so a crucial uh, a crucial player in this ecosystem is sahamati and uh, rebet reserve bank of uh, india's information technology arm so while globally markets have had a market driven approach barring eu us uh, broadly if you look at players like played or mx.com it's been a market driven play to how all of these open finance players have started building products and provided these capabilities eu has eu has had a, a regulated approach so they issued the psd2 norms india has also had a regulated approach uh, uh, so essentially rbi came out its own framework for account aggregation now why figo sort of differentiates itself is from day one we believe that the pipes after a point to time a point of time would get commodities so the infra where data would move from point a to point b would be available at plug and play and all of the infra players while they build those pipes better quality pipes we wanted to focus on the value added services on top of those pipes which is where figo comes in so we've had tremendous success in trying to build out these capabilities we are working with a lot of large players right now as part of our pocs we are pushing our first product after a lot of uh, uh, market feedback experiences will be going live shortly then we follow up with connectivity and then eventually insights and uh, one interesting thing that we have realized is by going to the market the capability to break down transaction strings right uh, has been grossly underestimated in india and after lot of digital payments evolution and penetration your financial footprint is now all over the place you spend via one you pay app you spend everywhere all of this hits your bank account but you don't know what you've done a, a, a third party player will have very little understanding of who you are but it sits within your banking uh, accounts now we built the capability after a lot of time to understand what you've done and who's what sort of person you are and that's taken its own own, own sweet time and i think uh, right now comfortably i can say uh, in the indian context 
Figo has the capability to break down any transaction belonging to any account in any bank and identify across uh, our database of two and a half million uh, merchants and vendors to see where those spends or investments or incomes come under, under which category, subcategory, merchant, etc. And uh, say a Swiggy could come as a Swiggy in your transaction string versus unbundled. Both mean the same. And Amazon spend might be Amazon pantry versus Amazon grocery could be something else, but the categories differ. It's e-commerce, but one could come under food, the, the other could come under something else. So the capability to, so to sort of glean those insights from transaction string is the greatest progress now that we've had. That's our core IP. Now we're building, we built the experiences layer, connectivity is going out shortly. Insights will go out at the point in time. That's awesome, Kumar. That's awesome. So uh, my next question for you is, what is, how did you and your co-founders meet and what is the company culture like at Figo.ai? Uh, so my brother is my co-founder. He's, uh, he's, he's, a, he's a company secretary and uh, MBA from School of Business, Hyderabad. Earlier, he was the head of special projects at NetMets. He was at and etc. So this is not a first venture together. Both of us uh, co-founded Opta Credit. That was our digital lending platform. Uh, unfortunately, COVID has its, had its own uh, uh, thought around how we had, we had to build our journey during Opta and we succumbed, sort of, it became COVID cash value after the pandemic. He said that he, there are a lot of problems, business operational problems that we faced that were yet unsolved. And we realized if uh, we still had the uh, stamina to restart and after four years, uh, multiple financial sector issues that sort of affected because we were in the digital lending space earlier. We still had the stamina to restart and we identified certain problem statements and we both of us started deep diving. And we realized that after multiple years of working together, uh, we clearly carve out what is each other's area of primary area of responsibility. And that, that sort of uh, makes us uh, our output pretty optimal. It doesn't come in way of our decision making. And uh, being brothers, uh, it also helps us that in the middle of the night, we essentially can talk about the same subject because we stay in the same place, right? I mean, so those are things that uh, have uh, people sort of always ask, doesn't it hinder you because you're working with your brother? Doesn't it emotionally affect you? See, you should be able to understand what sort of a person you're working with and what are his strengths and what are my strengths. If you're able to carve that out pretty cleanly, we, we might not have gotten it right in the first startup, but I think after years of working with each other, we know what strengths uh, each of them have and we work according. It's still a work in progress, but I'm sure we are miles ahead of uh, where we were multiple years back. Amazing, Kumar. And what about the company culture at Figo.ai? See, uh, well, uh, like any any startup that uh, went live during the COVID era, right? I mean, there's a lot of uh, focus on someone's personal time uh, because the learning has been remote is helpful, but we ensure that we catch up once a week because that's when magic happens. You don't, uh, you don't sort of always meet a person over phone and or, or video and understand what they are. Now, secondly, what we also realized is uh, remote also means you're going to give responsibility to someone and ask them to take decisions and the pros and cons that come with the output of the decision are theirs. They need to own it. And if you're going to build a scalable enterprise, if you're going to build a business that needs to run on its own, you just set direction. People in the room, the people in the in the business have to be have to do two things better. They need to learn from their mistakes. You can't assume that they will not do mistakes. It's, it's inevitable. You're doing the market making uh, a space that's yet to uh, uh, that's yet to take uh, uh, roots in the ground. Right? You're, you're building something that's new. So there'll be a lot of mistakes. I've, I've empowered most of them to say boss i am not empowering you you need to get yourself empowered if you make a mistake rectify it if you make a mistake don't make it the second time you essentially are going to be the owner of that call so that is a culture that i'm deeply ingrained because all of this also comes from being a second time founder you know you have to have the right guys around you if you want to even hit some amount of scale and that scale has to be sustainable scale you can't just blitz scale for the sake of it and all of this is going to come crashing down pretty soon if you don't have the right guys and the right process in place. It process, it's not just documentation, but the internal flow and the sync that needs to happen. That, I think, uh, is, a, is something that people here have 
very clear idea about and most of the decisions are taken by them it's only the macro decisions that essentially come back first oh uh, that's awesome kumar very true so my last question for you today is that every founder has that real moment in their lives where they just stand still and feel that they're building something very very cool and i'm sure you've had that moment as well so can you tell me about that moment um there have been quite a few moments when we realized um we, we are on to something um uh, when we first entered the account aggregator space um when we started doing the research most of the things that we expected to be there were absent because it was a pretty new area and um when we actually went to industry veterans we actually went to industry leaders in the space a bit in financial infra or open banking we realized that uh, they were actually super interested in some of the capabilities that we had and and we realized that these were capabilities that were not even being built out and that was validation from the market leaders in the space in adjacent spaces because account aggregation was the was is core now to every financial infra player here and that sort of spurred on because core ip is going to be built the harder the challenge that is when the strong uh, your core ip becomes stronger and we realized right from building these capabilities or cross categorization or cross connectivity or experience or insights was something that uh, when we went out to the market spoke to multiple potential clients we are doing pos with some of the largest uh, players in the fintech uh, ecosystem and even in the first call or the second call uh, people realized that uh, that they needed it far better than i mean we are actually underselling and people realized yes i want this so then after a point in time it was like uh, there was a problem uniform problem across different gdms in our uh, target market and we realized that uh, we were on to something and started building those use cases we started building those capabilities one by one another important piece was when we had so we are a, a, a psp in the sahamati ecosystem and now uh, i've been uh, voted by my peers uh, uh, and a part of the psp steering committee now had a, have a ringside view as to what's happening and i realize we go truly onto something uh, when some of the as i told you players who are unicorns have uh, commented that let's start working together let's let's build something together and we are solving a problem that uh, people will realize the value of it pretty shortly once a account aggregation hits a certain level of coverage you have banks coming on board as data providers you i mean even sbi is scheduled to go live but it take it take time because besides the bank is such when that happens you basically have everyone's financial data in a secure consent driven environment available for financial information users now figo is ready to tap into uh, so i can't build a boat after the flood comes right i need to be sort of aware. i i you could predict whether a flood comes or not but the moment you are convinced that flood is going to come you need to be ready with the boat and that's what we're doing so and we did a lot of uh, market research and our a conviction that uh, india would become a data uh, from a data rich to also an economic rich economy by making sense of that data is going to come to uh, shortly and just being ready that conviction came with multiple inputs multiple interactions and every one of those interactions were good validation works amazing kumar amazing it was really really nice talking to you today super insightful as well and thanks for being here today pleasure to be thanks a lot and thanks for your time thank you